So for this first lab, I'd really just like to walk you through it so you don't make any mistakes and we don't have to do it over and over again. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to determine the thermal energy of each of these solutions and proving that one or the other has faster moving molecules, okay? So we've already talked about that cold water has slower moving molecules. That's the one on the left here. On the right, we are going to have the hot water. Of course, I don't want you to touch it because it's gonna be hot. In this case, it's really not hot because I don't really wanna give anything away. So I, I, when I drop the color in there, it's not going to be true results. You'll get the real results when you have hot and cold water. So once you've done that, You've looked at this and you say, okay, this one should have slower moving molecules. These should be faster moving. So what are we gonna see? We talked about diffusion. Diffusion is, um, is a substance moving from a high concentration to a low concentration. And right now I'm putting drops in here. I'm just gonna put two drops. You don't need to more, put more than two drops in each one. After you do this, you need to get your timer started because you're gonna time both of these. Um, to see which one um, you're going to time how long it takes for all of this to become completely uniform. You should see no ribbons. You should see completely blue clear water before you stop the, stop, the stopwatch or the, or the timer. Then you write down your time. Okay? So, um, you'll notice that these are a little uneven and that might happen specifically because when water's hotter it will expand. But I did measure the exact same amount that is supposed to be here. But if you wanna make it even, you can do that because that would be a more controlled experiment. So if you uh, have any questions while you're watching this, I'll, I'll just, I'll give you some caution here. In labs, sometimes you're sitting and you're waiting, which means you can't mess around, okay? So you're, you need to be very much in your seat, discussing, should not be loud, there should be no horseplay. And once the six minutes or so are up, you'll be able to, to uh, start your conclusions. So um, here's your test. Can you, can you do a lab in Mrs. Uniemi's class?